you aware that there are beliefs and programs deep inside of you right now running every aspect of your life and you just have no idea that they're there. Again, Elon here from Satori Prime and today I wanna to talk to you about these programs and how they run you and I wanna share a personal story for me. See, when I was three and a half years old, I woke up in the middle of the night. We were in a small apartment in Israel at the time. I don't know what time it was, couldn't have been that late. And I walked out, cause I'd woken up and I walk into my parents' bedroom and they're not there. I walk into the living room, they're not there. And so I walk into pretty much the last room in our little apartment which is the kitchen, and they're not there. Now to a three and a half year old to realize that their parents are gone, that was my holy moment. You know what I mean? And it's these moments that every one of us has that creates very, very core beliefs. And what I said to myself, some version of, I said to myself at that time was that I'm bad, I'm a loser. There's something wrong with me. Now what ended up happening was my parents just happened to go out for the first time in three and a half years with their friends to a Chinese restaurant that was literally down below our building. And when they walked in, I was sitting on the couch in a fetal position, having cried all the tears that I had, because at some point I was out on the, in front of the window calling for my parents and just holding onto the railings. And that moment created some very, very core programs for me. And one of the things that actually happened that night is my brother started to cry, because I guess he probably heard me cry. And he was only about a year or so old at the time. And I remember walking into the room and I gave him a pacifier and he stopped to cry. And that also created a core part of me. My independent, I can do this on my own, I don't need you, peace got created. Now you can imagine that having a conversation like I'm a loser or I'm bad, or having a conversation like I can do this on my own, I don't need you, has some real benefits to it. I excelled at everything I did. I always had to win. Whether it was grades, whether it was sports, I always excelled. Now, when I started to do personal development work, I realized that every one of our strengths also has a shadow side to it. There's the gift, but there's also the shadow. My entire life was running away from feeling like a loser. Anytime I was in any situation or anytime I picked up something that I wasn't immediately good at, guess what I did? I quit. I didn't bother and I justified it like, oh, you know what, that's not for me. But I never even gave myself a chance to find out if in fact it was for me. I also realized that in my pursuit of always winning, I didn't really care who I hurt in that process. So I found out later that when I would play sports with my friends, they actually didn't enjoy playing with me because I would do anything and everything to win, which even if that meant hurting them, not necessarily physically, but it stopped being fun for them to be around me. I didn't care how many people were left in my wake of me winning. It was all a matter of me avoiding that feeling of feeling like a loser. Now, whether your story is that I'm not smart enough or I'm not good enough or I'm not lovable, or I'm too old or I'm too young. These programs are running your life right now and you don't even know. And while they have produced incredible results, the people who think they're the stupidest are the ones that have the most amount of uh, doctorates and, and certifications on their wall. Why? Because they're running around trying to prove to everyone that they are in fact smart enough. But that feeling of I'm not smart enough never goes away no matter how many doctorates they have. Just like for me, the feeling of I'm a loser never went away the more I won. Yes, maybe it felt good for a second, but it's not the actual healing. In order to heal that aspect of us, we get to go internal. Because the external things that you have been trying to fill to make that part of you feel whole have never worked, have they? So I wanna invite you to begin to explore those aspects of you to begin to explore not only the gift but the shadow of these programs and to realize that once you unlock them and uncover them you can begin the process of healing and reprogramming them so they no longer run you they are a part of you but they no longer run you